welcome to this week's Daily Race B and C lap guys. We are starting with Daily Race B at Dragon Trail Gardens. We are in the GT4 class. I have picked the Subaru Impreza WRX and it is a four, an annoying four lap race with racing hard tyres. It could have been easily five or six laps for this race so PD sort it out. That's it for the race info. Let's crack on with the lap guide. So as we start on the home straight, we'll be looking for this Dragon Trail sign just before the corner right here. Once you go past that, you want to get off the accelerator lightly on the brake and drop and slowing it down to about 100 miles an hour while turning. And get as close as you can to the apex. When you get to 100 miles an hour, start booting it back out again and you should be able to make that corner no problem without going wide. Then your next braking point is the 100 meter board. It's just after 100 meters, you want to be full braking down into second gear, getting all set up for this death, well, the death chicane of Dragon Trail Gardens. So you want to try and get as close as you can to the left side of the apex, short shift into third, and then go over the sausage curb. It's easy to do with the four wheel drive cars, and then set it up for the second one as well. Make sure you can get the sausage curb in the middle of the screen, so it do, you don't bump over the curbs, because it will affect your car. And your next braking point is just before the 100 meter boards, about 120 meters. Full braking power down into first gear. Get that car right, right slowing down to about 40 mile an hour. Then start booing it out. Just be careful with the oversteer around that corner. It will catch quite a few people out. This left corner here, you just want to do a little bit of a light uh, lift off. And where this light a grey patch of tarmac is just before the gravel on the left. You want to just quickly dab your brakes and then get, um, kick the car in. You might need a short shift into third, just give it more rotation, a bit back into fourth. And then your next braking point is just after where the, the two barriers meet on your right. And then you want to go back down into third gear, dab of braking as well to control the car. Then boot it back out nicely there to try not to go too wide or else it will ruin your lap. Then your next braking point is just after the dip where this like, dead patch of grass is and get all set up ready for the quadruple right hander. It is all about throttle control around here so you want to miss the first apex and the second apex and then start fully accelerating clipping the third apex and then nicely hitting the fourth apex. So you just keep on turning, just, you know, if you go a bit too wide, just let go of the accelerator and then boot it back down again. And then your last braking point is the, the orange barrier at the end or the 100 meter board um, just before it. Full braking power down into second gear, get the car nicely slowed down, get wide as you can to get it tucked in and then boot it back out. Don't do what I did, just clip the grass a little bit because I went a bit too soon. But there you go guys, that is Daily Race B for you. Let's crack on and do Daily Race C. Welcome everyone to Daily Race C. We are back at Deep Forest Raceway and we are in the GT3 cl uh, class. Sorry, It is a 12 lap race on racing soft tyres for a change. And there is one mandatory pit stop you need to do. But depending on which car, you don't need to change your tyres. So pick your choice carefully. As always, I go for the McLaren 650S as it is my go-to car, but there is a little secret with this car compared to the others. You do not need to change your tyres for this race as it is great at saving tyres. It is a fantastic little car. I love it. I can't get enough of this car compared to all the others. But anyway, let's crack on with it. Let's do the lap guide. Now, as we start on the home straight, you want to be looking for the 100 board just here. You want to be braking just afterwards, full braking power down into second or first gear, depending how late you brake. So as you hit the anchors, get close to the apex, and we'll have to do a V-style hairpin take, boot it back out nicely. But this next section here is all about braking and full control. So get to start to the left, lift on the accelerator, dab on the brakes, get clip the right apex, and then go a little bit over on the left apex, down into first gear, and boot it back out nicely there. Your next braking point is just when you exit the tunnel. So basically the apex in front of you and you just want to dab the brakes, 50% braking power, get it nicely close you can to the white line. And when you see the tunnel, start booting it back out. You should do that nicely. Um, just be careful some cars can wheel spin. 
And next breaking point is the um, end of the apex, um, just before the left-hand turn. Again, Dabber breaks down into third gear. Get that car close as you can to the apex, and then boot it back out. The aerodynamics will do the work for you. Then your next breaking point is the the, the colour merge between the dark grey and the light grey. Uh, full braking power down into first gear. Get that car nicely turned to the apex and boot it back out. Do not get all your tyres onto the green section or else it gives, or else it'll give you a uh, track limit penalty. Then your next braking point, or actually your last braking point, is this shadow here of the Gran Turismo uh, banner atop. Full braking power down into first gear. First gear sorry. Get off the accelerator, get that car rotated, short shift, short shift into second gear and boot it back out and there you go guys. Thank you so much for watching, I hope this lap guide helps you out. Uh, drop us a like and if you're new to the channel please come and subscribe because I'm nearly at 500 subscribers and uh, all the support helps. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.